In this video, I will show you how to use your mobile phone as gamepad for your smart TV. Over here, I am using an Android smart TV, but this should work for any smart TV that you have. So you can basically see my gamepad over here. And if I use the controller just like so, you can see that I can literally navigate through the app just using the controller over here. So this is what I'll be showing you how to do on this particular video. But before we dive into the video, please make sure you smash the like button and subscribe to this YouTube channel for more interesting tech tips like this one. So first things first, you want to go over to the Play Store on your smart TV. So just go over to the Google Play Store and open up the Google Play Store on your smart TV. Now on the top search bar, you want to go ahead and search for Zank Remote Control. So just go ahead and in this search bar, you just want to go ahead and search for Zank and you can basically see the remote over here it is called zank remote so once you have it you just want to go ahead and install it into your smart tv and obviously you can see that mine is already installed now once this is installed on your tv what you want to go ahead and do is to go back to the home of your tv and then you want to go to the settings icon at the top right corner of your tv so just go to the settings icon click on it and in the settings icon you want to scroll down until you get your device preferences click on device preferences and then you want to go ahead and click on about now you want to scroll down until you get to the build option over here now in the build option what you want to do is to go ahead and press the ok button seven times now by pressing this seven times it will turn on the developer options on your android tv and you can basically see that i am already a developer now once you press it seven times it will turn you to into a developer and once you're now a developer you can now scroll down come back to this device preferences and scroll down until you get to developer options which is this option over here now go ahead and click on developer options and then you want to scroll down and turn on usb debugging so make sure this is usually turned off so make sure you turn it on to turn, just go ahead and turn on usb debugging just like so and once usb debugging is turned on you want to come over to your mobile phone and then go to the google play store on your mobile phone and then search for the zank remote control so just go ahead and search for the same thing we did on the tv and you can basically see it's already installed on my mobile phone over here so you just want to go ahead and open it and then install it into your mobile phone and then open it on your mobile phone once it is installed just make sure you open it properly now once it has installed and you have opened it on your android mobile phone you want to come over to your android tv go ahead and open up the app on your smart tv so just go ahead and open it up just like so and just give it the permission it needs for it to open and once you're in this page you want to come over to your mobile phone and then click on this home button here now what this will actually do is that it is going to ask you which device you want to connect it to you're going to see the option for android os so if you're using an android tv you want to go ahead and select an android os but if you're using any other smart tv you want to go ahead and click on any other smart tv it has that option too and once you're done it is going to connect to your tv now once it connects to your tv you're going to see the name of your tv over here you can basically see mine is the xiaomi tv over here now once that is done you can now go ahead and control your tv using the remote control this actually offers you now if you want to use the gamepad option you just want to go ahead and click on this option over here and then you're going to see the pad icon over here so just go ahead and click on the pad icon and it's going to give you this gamepad over here so you can now go ahead and start controlling your tv using this gamepad now that way you can also play games so if i open up the beach burger racing game over here i can basically control it using the same gamepad that it actually offers me and i'm going to use it so you can see So basically that is how to use your mobile phone as gamepad for your android smart tv guys if this video was helpful again please make sure you smash the like button and subscribe to this youtube channel for more interesting tech tips like this one